Raider Nation, I want you to type WTF down in the comments because what the F was that? The Raiders lose 41 to 14 to the Kansas City Chiefs in an absolute embarrassment of a game. I mean, this one was just never really all that close. Derek Carr wasn't good. The Raiders give up over 500 total yards on the defensive side of the football. I will legitimately say this is the worst game that I have seen the Raiders play this entire season. I mean, this looked like the defense back in 2020. You want to talk about missed tackles, bad opportunities on third and fourth down. Kansas City outcoached us. They outplayed us. They had a better game overall, better philosophy. Were some plays going against the Raiders? Yes, absolutely. But you can't sit here and you can't say that, oh, the Raiders' Max Crosby was getting held. You're right. He was getting held a lot of the game. That wasn't the reason why they lost this game. So I want you guys reacting down below, typing WTF. But here's my question. The Raiders right now are 5-4. and four. How many games are the Raiders going to win? Let me know down in the comment section because... You know, you're sitting here at five and two, coming out of the bye. I was feeling really good. You lose 23-16 to the Giants. You then lose 41-14 to the Chiefs. I don't know about you, it's getting hot in here. And the hot seat's getting turned up on every single person and on that Raiders team, in that locker room, and that coaching staff. Because when you have two games like this, guys, that's how people lose jobs. So let me know down in the comments section, how many games will the Raiders win? So if you guys want your questions, your comments on the show, go ahead and use hashtag Raiders or you can go ahead and super chat. Appreciate everyone tuning in, watching right now. Uh, see, see you, man. See ya. We got uh, Eduardo Gonzalez. Mitch, it's been the same inconsistency since 2018. I don't have an answer for you. I don't know why this team doesn't finish the season strong, but you are still 5-4. and four. There is still time to figure it out, get it corrected. It's a long year. Long year left, season's not over. Let's go to Papaya Man 89. Read on Gus Bradley tonight, shake my head, you're right. Bradley had no answer, no answer. Andy Reid did whatever the hell he wanted, when he wanted, and that kind of pains me a little bit because the Raiders defense has been so good this season. Now, if I missed your question, you guys can always hit me up on IG. I'm at Mitchell Renz 365 so please, slide in those DMs, please hit me up. Let's go to Joshua Vera. Man, Raiders were plus eight. Last leg of my parlay, $60 to win 400. Man, I'm sorry that you didn't win your money. My heart goes out to you. Let's go to Guillermo Contreras. I've been saying for years, Carr's too scared now. He's not the same guy, he has no heart. I will say this, Derek Carr looked like he saw a ghost today. He looked like he was a scared, scared man. Did not know how to respond. And if I was a Raiders team, and I was going into that circle, it's going into that huddle, I wouldn't have much confidence in Carr either. But even though DC did not play well, you can't put the sole blame on him. This was a top to bottom bad game, offense and defense. Let's go to Alex Thompson. What up, my man? Gruden is suing the NFL. I hope he gets millions. This was a little until midseason. I do think Gruden got screwed, but also nobody forced Gruden to say the things he did in his email. Gruden also needs to be a man. It needs to be an adult and realize what you said was wrong. Whether you like it or not, that's a fact. So what I want you guys to do right now is go ahead, hit that big red button that says subscribe. I want you to hit just sub, baby, because, man, I want to get to 100,000 subs. I want to get a YouTube plaque. Only 1% of all YouTube channels hit 100,000 subs. And I want to be the first Raiders channel ever, not, not the official Raiders account, the first ever Raiders YouTube creator to hit 100,000 subs. I want to hit that accomplishment, so if you guys haven't yet, please hit that big red button. Send it to your friends, the link is below. I know today was a shitty game, but I'm gonna keep you giving you guys the videos. I'm gonna keep you guys up to date, everything going on around the silver and black. Let's go to Steven Rockwell, what up man? Let the ball go, I'd rather him throw picks than watch three and outs, quit being safe. See, I want to see safer, I want to see more aggressive play calling as well, but Carr, even when he was aggressive, was like foolishly aggressive. Just throwing the ball up in the air. It was leading to interceptions. DC played scared today. Do I think that they should have put Mariota out there? No, because I still think Carr is a 
10 times better quarterback than Mariota. However, we really got to start looking at DC and wondering, is this the guy we want leading this team? He's done all the right things. He said all the right things off the field, but I want somebody on the field. Let's go to the dude. Game is close, and what does Carr do? Dumb INT. I mean, Deshaun Jackson had a bad turnover. I mean, Deshaun Jackson's fumble is when this game totally flipped the script. Raiders were down 24-14. 32-yard catch to Deshaun Jackson. Jackson then goes down the field. Ball gets punched out, fumbled. Chiefs then went down the field and they scored. You know, like, that was the turning position today's game. That was the big one that hurt. Now, guys, remember, I'm going to be here at Red Tail, at Resorts World. You guys might hear some music in the background. This place is lit AF, man. We're still partying. If you want to come party with me next weekend, get your tickets. TheBlackHoleEvents.com. Use code Mitch to save 20% off. Let's go to Rocky Mountain Guy. Just sent in a $5 super. Much love to you. Tom Downey's actual account. Raider Nation, relax. This ain't college where a committee votes. You're right. I still think there's plenty of time to go in this season. There's plenty of opportunities to come away with wins in the future. Let's go to Drew Henry. What up, Drew? Uh, which, why didn't Deshaun just keep running forward? I don't know. I, Deshaun looked like somebody who hadn't played. Like, he looked a little bit lost. I think he was trying to do too much with the ball, and it led to a turnover. It's unfortunate, but that's what happened. Let's go to Felipe Mendia. We need to shake up the offensive line immediately. I don't really know if the offensive line played all that bad. Colt Miller was solid. Thought John Simpson looked pretty good. Andre James had a solid or a decent game. Leather was a bit, I mean, right tackle is our biggest need. Brandon Parker struggled. He gets beat pretty often. A lot of holes lead to that. So what do you guys think here? Who was the Raiders week 10 MVP? And I don't know if there was an answer. If you guys want to put no one, honestly, I'm good with you putting no one because the only player that I can honestly say that I thought showed up tonight is probably Brian Edwards. I, I was impressed by what I saw out of Edwards. Thought he had a good game, but at the end of the day, you lose 41-14. If you want to let me know who you want to see on the hot seat, maybe we should do that. Let's go to Oofers. This team isn't technically sound at all. Jonathan Abram keeping his eyes in the backfield. Year three, I mean, so that was one of the things where, you know, and I get it, Raider Nation is a passionate fan group, but we do a lot of studying at Chat Sports. We do a lot of our homework. We do a lot of studying from top to bottom. When I told people Jonathan Abram was a bad pick in the round one, you know, obviously I took some heat. Abram's a good safety. He wasn't worth a first round pick. He can't cover, guys. Like, he is a very bad cover safety, and that's just not going to get it done in the NFL. Let's go to Sam Russo. What up, my man? Oh, same story every year. Mayock got to go. I mean, if the Raiders don't make the playoffs, Mayock's gone. You bring in a brand new staff. As much as I like DC, you got to really think about bringing in a new quarterback as well. But from top to bottom, a lot of shit's going to change. Now, I do want to give some love to one of our major sponsors today and the place that I'm at right now. I am located at Red Tail. Now, the seats, the place is cleared out a little bit, obviously, after this loss. But you guys can come play games here. We can do a lot of different things. But if you guys could, go hit up Red Tail on IG at Red Tail LV. Spam Raiders, spam FKC. Tell them that I sent you because if you want me to keep coming back here, you got to show Red Tail some love because if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be here right now. Let's go to Dez Magic. What up, Dez? We will do good. Uh, but if what what Deshaun Jackson more, I'm convinced we would have won. See, I disagree with that statement. Deshaun Jackson wasn't playing defense. And if you would have used Deshaun, your offense might have moved the football a little bit more. But you gave up 41 points, guys. Like, you're not going to win games giving up 41 points in the NFL. Was the offense bad? And was the defense bad because the offense was bad? Yes, it was. And are, is the Raiders missing Henry Ruggs? Absolutely. But you can't sit here and say, if we would have played Deshaun Jackson, we would have won the game. That's... That's not a fair statement to make, and I'm sorry. Let's go to Jesse Holloway. What up, my man? Abram is terrible. He's not terrible. He's bad at coverage. There's a big difference. But if you try to, it's bad coaching. Like, Gus Bradley's done a phenomenal job this season, but today was bad coaching. You put Jonathan Abram and Dalen Levitt on Tyree Kill one-on-one -on -one and Travis Kelsey. You're never going to win that matchup. So wake the hell up, make adjustments, because that's what I saw today. 
The Raiders didn't make adjustments. They've done a good job all season making adjustments. No adjustments were made today. What happened? You got embarrassed on your home field. So what I want you guys to do right now is rate the Raiders defense against the Chiefs. Scale from zero to 100. Anything over 50 or wrong. Anything over 50 or wrong. Today was by far the worst performance that I've seen by this Raiders defense in a very, very long time. Now, if you guys want to vent some more, I'm on Instagram, at MitchellRens365, and I'm going to be in my DMs tonight. I'll be in my DMs probably for the entire week. But if you want to stay up to date on your Raiders news and rumors, I also post stuff probably before anybody else does on IG, but I do it on my Instagram story. So if you want to stay up to date on all things going on in the Raiders, hit me up, at MitchellRens365. Let's go to David Brown. What has happened to Walker and basically done nothing the last four games? I mean, Waller would have had a touchdown today, but a penalty on Brandon Parker brought that back. Defense is all they're doing, they're double covering Waller. Like, without the, without the explosive play of Ruggs, teams are saying, okay, if we take away Waller, somebody else has got to beat us. Zay Jones can't get open on his own. Hunter Renfro has struggled. Brian Edwards had a better game, but like, Derek's got to be better. Carr was bad again today. We got to face the facts. Carr we played bad the past two weeks. Let's go to Juicehead89. Cold. Carr sold on us. Defense was pathetic. Time to draft Bryce Young. And do you think it's rebuilding again? If you bring in a new head coach, good chances are yes. Rebuild's probably going to be coming, which is frustrating, but that's just the simple truth. All right, guys. We got, uh, I think we're going to wrap up this post game reaction. So if you guys haven't already, please like the video. Please go ahead and subscribe to the Raiders Report. This was an absolutely embarrassing game, but I do want to give a shout out to the entire nation. Let's go to Christopher McGuire here. If Carr is the franchise quarterback, then why with eight minutes left in the game, the Raiders don't give Marcus Mariota some playing time? I don't have a good answer for you, man. I do think Mariota should have got a little bit more playing time, but here's the thing. Carr is a much better quarterback than Mariota. And, I, and I'm not saying I don't like Mariota. It's just like that's the truth. Sorry. All right, guys. Grade the Raiders offense against the Chiefs. It's D's and F's. I don't even know why ABC is on the board. It's D and F's only. And I'm starting to get really, really worried about this team. Let's go to Jeremy Johnson. Unbelievable. Just unbelievable. Why can't it ever be Raiders? What is happening with this team? It's a lot of drama. I mean, like this team was a good team. But you lose your best receiver. You lose, I mean, you can say what you want about Damon Arnett, but that's still drama. You lose your head coach. I mean, you lost both your first-round picks in 2020. Your head coach is no longer there. There's only so much your team can do, man. A lot of drama. Let's go to Aggie. I love my Raiders, and even though it's true, I hate having to say win or lose, tie, I'm Raiders till I die. Man, like, I'm with you. I love this team, and I wasn't born a Raider fan, but I bleed silver and black now. And even if, even if the Raiders don't win another game, I'm going to give you guys videos. I'm going to keep you guys up to date because I love this team, and I don't do this show for Raiders players. I do this show for the nation, the best damn fan base in the entire world, the most dedicated fans in the world. So if you guys want to leave because the season's over, get the F out of here. See you later. I'll wave bye to you. If you want to stay up to date on your Raiders and watch every single game, win or lose, womb to the tomb, this is the channel for you. Hit that subscribe button. Let's go to Alex Brown. We're the same Raiders from last year, except Carr sucks. Carr doesn't suck. We're not the same Raiders. Next question. If we don't get any more questions, I'm getting pissed off with all this negative Nancy stuff. What up, Brandon Robe? Uh, keep Crosby, Renfro, Waller, and Merrick, everyone else. I will say, I don't think J Jacobs makes it another year. Or er, that's, that's a lie. I don't think Jacobs. Jacobs going to play out his contract. After that, he's done. Donovan Abram, he's going to be done. Clayton Furl, he's going to be done but you have to be able to keep a certain handful of players. Everyone else after the year 2023, it's going to be a brand new Raiders team. I'm telling you that right now. Let's go to Little Darkness, 209. Carr is a good quarterback, but it's obvious he isn't for the Raiders. So that's the thing. Carr is a good quarterback. Just in the NFL, sometimes you need to be great. You need to be elite. And there's been games where Carr has played elite. The only games Carr has ever played elite though is when he has a lot of talent around him. As soon as you give him a mediocre team, he plays very, very mediocre. Let's go to Gabriel Fernandez. Jackson's turnover complete momentum shift. You're right. That was the change of the game. Like, if I could point at one play in today's game and say that was the play that totally shifted momentum, it was Deshaun Jackson's fumble. 
and I don't know if it's all that close. Let's go to Michael Hill. Jacobs played trash, Carr played trash. The offense played bad. Like, I'm not just gonna sit here and say it was Jacobs, it was this guy, it was this guy. The entire team, guys, did not play well. Now, if you wanna join me next week for Raiders against Bengals, I'm gonna be here at Red Tail again. So, get your tickets ahead of time. TheBlackHoleEvents.com, use code Mitch to save 20% off. And make sure you go ahead and give Red Tail a follow on Instagram, at RedTailLV. Tell them I sent you, show them some love. That way I can keep coming back here because, you know, even though those games suck, man, Red Tail is a hell of an experience, and I have a lot of fun when I come here. So please, go show Red Tail some love on IG, at Red Tail. Let's go to Kira Moth. This is going to be the last one. Oh, man, I honestly thought you guys would beat the Chiefs now after multiple teams. Season's over. Season's not over, but I do hope it gets better. Also, shout out to Don Raider for the Super Chat. Here are the next five games for the Raiders. Week 11, Bengals at the Cowboys. Guys, I'm going to be here at Red Tail for Week 11, and then I'm going to be here at Red Tail for Week 13. If anybody's going to go to the Cowboys game, <laughs> excuse me, hit me up on Instagram, Mitchell Rent 365 I live in Dallas, so, like, I want to be able to get together with some Raider fans. So please, next five games, if you haven't yet, go ahead and subscribe. YouTube.com slash Raiders Report.